When I was 14, I was raped. As is common, it was by somebody who was known to me. He had offered to walk me home from a youth event, and in those days, everybody walked everywhere. It was quite common to do that. It was early evening, it wasn't dark. I was wearing, I'm imagining, I'm guessing, jeans and a sweatshirt. I knew my way around where I lived. Uh, I, was, I was very comfortable, and we did go a slightly different way, but I didn't think anything of it. He asked me, uh, he told me he wanted to show me something in a wooded area, and at that point, I must admit, I was alarmed. I did have a warning bell, but I overrode that warning bell because I knew him, and therefore there was a level of trust in place. And to be honest, looking back at that point, I don't think I knew what rape was. It was not something that was talked about. My mother never talked to me about it. I didn't hear other girls or other women talking about it. It was mercifully quick, and I remember, first of all, feeling surprise, then fear, then horror, as I realised I quite simply couldn't escape. Because obviously he was stronger than me. And there was no sense, even initially, of any sexual desire from him, which I suppose, looking back again, I find odd. My senses were absolutely numbed, and thinking about it now, 37 years later, I remember, I cannot remember hearing anything when I replay it in my mind. Now, as somebody who's an ex-professional musician, who is very, very auditory, I find that quite telling. I didn't tell my mother, I didn't tell my father, I didn't tell my friends, and I didn't tell the police. I bottled it all up inside me. I was ashamed that I had allowed this to happen to me, and I had a whole range of internal conversations about, I should have known, why did I go that way? Why did I walk home with him? Why wasn't, didn't I understand the danger? I deserved it because I was too this, I was too that. <coughs> I felt that I was spoiled and impure, and I really felt revulsion towards myself. But for many years, I simply could not say the words without crying. I could not say the words. And it was only in my mid-40s I took some steps to go and, and get help with it. A rape happens when a man makes a decision to hurt someone he feels he can control. Rapes happen because of the rapist, not because of the victim. And we women and our society have to stand up for each other. We have to be courageous. We have to call things out and see where things are wrong. We have to support and nurture our sisters as we do with our sons. Like many women of my age, I have on occasion encountered other aggressive actions towards me, both in business and, in fact, in, in politics. But one thing I realise now is that I'm not scared. And he was. I'm not scared. I'm not a victim. I'm a survivor. Thank the Honourable Lady for what she has said and the way in which she said it, which has left an indelible impression upon us all.